Merry Christmas. Cue the Vlogmas intro. Woo! <laughs> There's only one reason we'd be up this early. It's Christmas tree. Christmas. <laughs> it's Christmas tree collection day. I'm really tired. Merry Christmas. Let's get a Christmas tree. What time is it? It's like 6 30 in the morning. It feels good to be back, even if it is at the crack of dawn. It is the Z with flowers, but not with people. It's probably the quietest we've ever seen it. Right, we found our cellar. We found a nine foot Christmas tree, but we need an eight foot Christmas tree because that's like the maximum height we've got in our um, living room with the star before it starts getting silly and we've got to start cutting things down. So um, we spotted these ones already bagged up. It's very risky <laughs> getting them pre bags, but it worked for us last year, so we're hoping it could work again. It's just inside and he's going to go and grab one of his colleagues. I saw this one, I just laid down next to this one, but I mean, if that's nine foot, Zara, that one must be. I think that's huge. Massive, yeah. It's a chunky one. That'd be nice and like an entrance way, wouldn't it? If you had a big old grand hallway. If anyway. You were the yes, if you were the Kardashians. I love you got the festive mug. It's one cake got me for Christmas. So I always got a little tea in it. Right, we've got the tree. <laughs> it's very early, and we're listening to Christmas songs. But we've got a tree, and it's lovely, and I'm very happy about it. So yeah, and I'm trying not to get run over. I think I'm in the wrong lane. I am. Oh, I've got an April Christmas tree, and I can't use my mirrors. Wow. <laughs> and we've got the tree in a bucket of water. I'm gonna make a fresh cut. And then yeah, I'm gonna decorate it tonight. How exciting. Make steed when you come home, Zara, tonight. Make steed. Run, don't what walk. What steed? Fast. Oh, I thought you meant like stew. Like, let's make stew. What? Like, make, like, make something. No. Make steed. Mead. Mead? Of me. Make steed is like, be fast. Make haste. Make haste! Darling, I am both hands are on the wheel and I'm really really trying to concentrate, but um, yeah Do you know what the barrier is so nice What's you just done to look I at just it? honestly I think this should be a permanent fixture in the car really a tree a log a brick whatever You just it may don't be. have to look at me. Yeah, it's just so pleasant like I can hear you and I don't have the displeasure of looking at you at <laughs> Shut your face. It's so nice. No, I'm um I'm in agreement. It's keeping us nice and cosy. Very grateful for a larger car this year because last year we had to strap it on the roof of the Mini, which was difficult. But I just think that we must have done that wrong because the bloke we've just seen there said that he got two eight foot trees in a Mini. So yeah. either we were doing something incredibly wrong or, or he's doing something very illegal. Yeah, I agree. Maybe they had the bonnet open. Uh, the boot, sorry, because I can't imagine how you would have fit that in a Mini. But anyway. Well, man of many talents, that bloke, That's I tell true. you. Yeah, very nice, friendly guy. All very lovely in there. I've never had not someone who's not. Not nice. So there Everyone's we are. so nice. Can I just say, mm. I know it's 7 a.m. Yes. Hi. <laughs> Can we talk about dinner? Dinner? Would well, you want to make so I'll pop some mulled wine on for when you come in. Right. So, we can have that, so yeah, but obviously we're not just going to eat mulled wine. No. Um, what would you like for dinner? I think we should have a festive dinner. Oh, okay. I'm thinking if I go past today, a shop, I can mm. get some festive food. What like, do you mean festive food? What are you thinking? Camembert. Oh, lovely. With some bread. Okay, yeah. And some cheeselets. I love cheeselets. Oh, lots. yeah, that's a good shout. Yeah. And then I can, I don't even know what else is festive food, really. Ham hock. I can't eat ham hock. I don't like ham hock. Smoked salmon. Look, I don't like fish. In that case, yeah. What about like a picky tea? Lively. Lively? Like, yeah, picky pizzas. bits. Okay. Amazing. Right. Well, that's the plan. Okay, so I'm showered and dressed and now I need, <laughs> I'm not looking forward to this, I need to saw at least an inch, an inch and a half off of the base of the Christmas tree trunk. We do this every year just to make a fresh cut. I asked the chap at Common Guard Market if he could do it but he didn't have a saw to hand and it's a big trunk. So I'm going to do that. It's currently in water but it just means it keeps it like the water keeps on drinking throughout the festive period so the tree doesn't die. So it's a bit of work but it's worth it. <laughs> 
So yeah, that wasn't too painful. <laughs> Bit of a mess on the balcony, but it always gets messy this time of year. So there we are, that's the fresh cut done. You can see the difference in the aging of the wood. Okay, this has been a fairly busy day and Zara is on her way back from work. Usually we do this on a weekend, but the way December 1st has fallen, um, it's pretty much Christmas in two days. <laughs> and um, yeah, the weekends have just filled up and we just haven't got time. So we're doing it midweek on an evening. So excuse the light, sorry about that. I might look a bit red in the face, but we're just gonna have to roll with it. I'm very excited, oh my goodness. So this is the plan. So this little corner needs completely empty and so the armchair and all of the bits and bobs are gonna go in Zara's room. That little pedestal table with the plant is gonna go in my room. And then we just left the bookcase there last year and it worked perfectly fine. So that is the plan. We're gonna pop a little garland on the fireplace. These little bits are gonna move. I do love this. We got this in a garden centre years ago and it just, it's lovely. So that goes on the radiator so when they come on, <laughs> even when they come on, um, the smell of all the dried fruit kind of like wafts through the living room, which is so nice. Then yeah, we've got the little fire going on down below. It's gonna look so nice when it's all in place. Oh my god, I'm so excited. And I just had the most lovely little delivery come through from Chase Gin with their rhubarb and Bramley apple gin. So I thought we could make some of these this evening. This is all of the ingredients to make a alpine toddy. So um, yeah, it's like a nice warm gin drink, which I think could be perfect for decorating the tree. So cue the nice little festive montage of me trying not to break my back, carrying this very big heavy armchair out of the living room. So the corner has been cleared. I'm gonna leave those pictures on the wall just because I feel like it'll be quite nice behind the tree. Maggie's got her head in the tree skirt. <laughs> Maggie, what are you doing? What are you doing, sausage? This tree skirt, we bought it uh, when we first moved into this flat four years ago. And honestly, it was such a last minute panic buy because we just never had one. Maggie, I think we got it from a place called Home Base. Yeah, it just looks lovely. So tree skirt's in place, just need Zara to come home. Then we can get on with building the tree. So Zara's home from work and she just swung by the shops to get some picky bits for dinner. So we're gonna have a um, baked camembert with some posh prawn cocktail crisps, a little baguette to dip in the camembert. Got some um, extra virgin olive oil hummus, some tomatoes. She said she meant to buy um, the cheddar versions of these but ended up buying hog roast sausage rolls so she can have those. Um, and then we've got some sticky toffee puddings for dessert. Okay, and then I'm just gonna pop us some mulled wine to warm through while we decorate the tree. So I've got a bottle. If this is really lovely from um, Waitrose, the Pinot Noir, it's delicious. And there was a lot, another little mini bottle. So I just thought I'd pop that in with some nutmeg and some oranges. Right, got the mulled wine. Oh, Maggie. Look who's come back from work. They've seen the trauma. <laughs> it doesn't feel as um, festive as it should do because we both had quite stressful days. But I've cried today. No, it's not great. But if this isn't us just really trying, happy Christmas love. No, no tears, only positive vibes. I'm empty. Right, we're gonna do the Christmas tree. <laughs> nice, isn't it? What's in that? Orange juice. Maggie's got her hat on. She's ready and good to go. Maggie, what's this? She's just had her dinner, so she's gonna watch us make havoc with the Christmas tree. Lovely, right? Maggie Elf, what's coming in? Maggie, what should I expect? It's happening. Everybody stay calm. Oh, Maggie, what tree is it? Am I in? What's happening? I don't know. No, not even remotely. That is beyond concerning. Yeah, right, yeah, you get out. A bit more? No, 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 come out. Right, we're about to put Elf on and watch that while we decorate the tree. Look at the tree, I am so happy with that. That is, we stand next to it, like get really close to it. Like that is a big tree, man. I'm so grateful we've got tall ceilings in this flat because I mean, pff, from here, you look like very, very tiny. <laughs> I'm shy for two. 
Yeah. Well, it's eight foot. I think it's bigger than eight foot. I said this. I'm gonna trim a little bit off top just for the start, but I'm so happy with it. So we've got all the decorations out. These are like what's left over from our real fancy, fancy ones. So to be honest, actually some of these are fillers from John Lewis, but like these ones are our really, really special ones. Ones that we picked up from around the world. Some of these are from Seville, Florence, Germany, all kinds of places around London, garden centers around England. We've just really like nurtured this into like a beautiful collection of just loveliness. My least favorite job about the whole of Christmas tree decorating is the lights, but we make a good team. You do it. <laughs> Thank you. And I distinctly remember last year saying, let's go out with the band. And isn't it really funny that we're still here? And you're on. Cutting through oh, really? the ceiling. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? We're alive. Just about. Mm. And that's the most important thing. Sorry, We've got air in our lungs, and who knows where we'll be next year. I'm not even saying it. Right, we're just doing the mantelpiece garland. This one's actually from the hallway. We felt like it was a bit too much out there, so um, we're just slotting some nice little bits of artificial foliage as well as some real holly. Got some nice little tree toppers in there too. Super nice. I feel like it looks very, very traditional, which is lovely. It is coming together beautifully. I'm so, so happy with how this is looking. Oh my god, we've just paused Elf because we put the camembert in the oven. Oh my god, it's looking so good! Right, going in for a dip of the camembert. Oh my god, look at that! Ah! I'm put some chili jam in there as well. Fuel to decorate a Christmas tree. Right, so we've got all of the decor out. So this is all going to go on the tree. I mean, I feel like this gets bigger and bigger every year. And these baubles, there is no theme. I mean, some of these are actually from Paris last year. God, they're literally, not Paris last year. Paris, <laughs> Paris in um, 2019, they are gorgeous, right? Oh God, look at these, ah! Get a better look at that. Ah! Oh my gosh. Guys, I think this is our best tree yet. Do you feel like it's the nicest High five. Maggie, wow. You... Guys, look at that tree. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with it. It's huge. We've only used two sets of lights. I don't know how, but oh my god, it's amazing with the fire on and the little stockings. Ah! I'm obsessed. It's magic. And it's just a little compilation of all of our decor from all around the world, from London and afar, glistening away, gifts from family members, and everything in between. Absolutely gorgeous. It's all got a bit much for this little one. Merry Christmas, Maggie Moo. Merry Christmas. She's just taking in our hard work. <laughs> wow. So, so happy with that. As you can tell. The decorating was all a bit much for Maggie. <laughs> She's done nothing all day. We just snuggled up on the sofa watching Elf. Right, 
I so I'm going to end this vlog. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this very first Vlogmas video. I feel like it's um it always gets this time of year when there's just so much content on YouTube. So as I've said before, I'm not going to be filming every single day throughout December, but there's going to be more festive videos coming. And this weekend when I'm filming this, we're actually heading to Vienna. So we're going to be heading for international Christmas markets, which I'm so excited about. Keep an eye out for that. No Lord of old festive content and everything fun in between. So yeah, I really hope you guys have enjoyed this one. Lots of love to you all. Happy 1st of December, Merry Christmas, and let the festivities begin. Love you all, take care, bye.